Hello everybody and welcome. Welcome to my channel. I'm Joanne from the underscore rustic underscore farmhouse and I'm here with a drop sale. Um, what I'm going to do is give you a number of each of the items and give you the price and the price does not include shipping. I am shipping from Pennsylvania and what I'll need from you is I'll need your real name, your address, your PayPal email, your information, and your YouTube uh, information, YouTube channel name. Um, I will leave everything in the link down below for you so you know where to send me my, I'll leave my email address. I'm going to leave a description of all the items and if you check out, I've been doing one every day because I'm on vacation this week, so I've been doing one every day. I don't want to make this too long because it takes forever for it to upload. For whatever reason, my internet is slow, so I'm going to get right into it. And if you ever have any questions at all, please email me, and I'll leave that my email down below. You can also catch me on Instagram, um, and um, I will also leave my uh, eBay store down below too as well. So I'm going to start off today with number 69, and I have a lot of two ghost books. First, I have Gus was a friendly ghost. I'll just I'll show you. And I have this book. I have another one that I put out at Halloween time, and the copyright of this one is 1962. So Ghost, Gus is just a little bit older than me, not much. And then I love, I love the, I love the moon. Isn't I so cute? At first I thought maybe somebody drew in, but then I realized. So I have him. And I couldn't find any marks or writings in any of these books. One of them, I thought I'd seen like a page was bent a little bit in the corner. Um, maybe I straightened it out. The next one is McStroom's Ghost. And the one kind of reminds me, is the illustrator the same person? No. No, because it almost looks like the same kind of illustration in the front. And I think this was copyrighted in 1971. Yeah. And so that is this one. And look. <laughs> it looks more like Christmas than it does. And I, I never read either one of these, but. They do look very charming. So I display them out at Halloween time. So, but you can display them anytime you want. So for the lot of two ghost books, I'll just call it, it's number 69 and they are $8 for the pair. So two for one money. The next I have is this gorgeous, and I have two of these, but they're two different colors. This gorgeous, gorgeous late Victorian style lady. She has, it looks it's a mint, mint green or light green. Now, she does have a little bit of her ruffle missing here. And um, she is marked right there. I cannot make it out because it's blurry, the name, but it says uh, 433 number. She's, she's 15, about 15 inches long, tall. I would say, but how, how gorgeous is she? That's her head way I'm trying to show this here without dropping her. Okay, and she is $15. And then I have her sister who has a very light or ballerina pink dress on. Same thing, but her lace, I don't know if it's broken or what, but her lace is also missing in the same spot. Now her finger, her pointer finger is kind of missing, but you can't even tell because I didn't notice it. I got these yesterday. She's also marked on the bottom with the same number, 433, on the back of her. And she is number, um, so I can put her up to that. She's pretty big. She is number 71, and she's also $15. Okay. 
Next, I have the pink shell soap dish. And make sure I can move that. It's not picking up that pink here, but it is. It's got three little feet. I'm trying to swipe. I don't know if that shows any better. Well, it's not really picking up. And there's no chips or scratch dents or anything on her. No dents. Okay. And sh this here little shell soap dish is number 72 and it's six dollars and like i said i will leave all the information down below next i have is a set of two halloween glass ornaments we're going to start off with this ghost how cute is he with the pumpkins oh my goodness and this is number 73 and then I thought I had two of these, but I can't find the other one. But if I do, I will send them along. Is the eyeball. I thought I had two eyeballs. Um, and they have their tag on it, which is OWC on this one. Yeah, OWC. So you're getting them both for $8. Next, I have this gorgeous head vase. I would say she's either from the 60s or 70s. That's what she reminds me of. Uh, she is in excellent condition. Some of her paint wear is missing off of her little dress there. And this here, it looks like a chip, but I think it's a flaw in the manufacturer because... The paint is not missing. You can see. But how cute is she? She is not marked. Her sticker is missing. Here's the back of her top. I just picked her up yesterday. And she is $28. And that's a steal. But I got her cheap, so I'm going to pass the savings on to you. And she is number 74. Okay. The next I have is this set of this creamer and sugar easy girl. Okay. And I know I'm I'm going to probably botch how to say this, botch this up. Dryden Arkansas. I'm not sure how A R K A N S A S. Anyways, so they are marked on the bottom. It took me a little while to find out what they said. The, the signatures. But they are excellent condition. Again, I'll show the bottom. And they are $15 for the set. I'm going through this quite quick because when I go to load it up in my... Um, my internet is so slow that a half hour takes an hour to two hours to, to upload. The next I have is, and she's number, this one here is number 76. Inesco teen or lady head vase. She's marked on the bottom. Not Inesco. Inaco. Inaco. She's marked E6. Two one one. They often call her a ghost sister or phantom vase, uh, due to her her eyes. Isn't that crazy? She is missing her earrings, though. I am going to say that she has per she should have pearl earrings, and you could actually probably just get a pair of cheap pearls and just glue them back on because they're not. That's what it looks like they were glued on at one time, and um. She is actually in really, really good condition. I love her flowing hair. Again, I'll show you the bottom. See you there. 
Inako, Inako, I think is how you pronounce that, right? Japan. She measures five and a half inches tall, and she is $75. She's just beautiful. Okay, the, and she was number 76. Next is 77, and it is this little flamingo ceramic vase pottery. Okay, um, he is absolutely so cute. Now, I tried to clean him up, and I couldn't get him any cleaner, so I don't know. Maybe somebody else can. I didn't know what to use. I tried soak him. I tried a uh, the Mr. Clean eraser, magic eraser. It wouldn't take that off, but this is probably years and years of dirt, so probably if I had the time to clean him up. Anyways, he is number 77. He is $8.00. He is three inches tall, so that would be the Flamingo Pottery Vase. I think it's ceramic. It's ceramic, I think. Okay, and this one is my absolute favorite. Where did I put her? Favorite. This little pixie head vase. Oh, my goodness. She is just too stinking cute. Look at her. She is made in Japan. That's all it says on the bottom. She would be so sweet at Christmas time with a bottle brush tree in her because of her green stripes. Now, I did notice she has a little crack. I think it's not, I think it's like more on the, um, the paint. I don't think it's like all the way through because I didn't notice it until I got it home. It is up there. You, you can, I don't even think the camera will pick it up. Um, but she is also... $28. She measures. She's adorable. Four and a half inches tall. She is number 78. $28. She's so stinking cute. The next we have, and I'm not very good at pronouncing things, so I think they're probably finding that out, is this mug. I'm not even going to try to how to pronounce this. It does say made in Brazil. And I'm going to hold that up. I couldn't really find anything on this. I just thought the, the the color was so pretty. Actually, it'd go pretty nice with the pixie. In a Christmas display, put a bottle tree brush in there. Excellent condition. Um, this is number 80, and it's $8 for this mug. And again, there is the brand. Okay. The next I have are these two Made in Japan Collie Dog, the set. I mean, they are really cute. This one's got the Cool Japan. That's just got J-A. Mm, what are you going to say? They're number 81. And they are $8. The next I have is this Royal China picture. Okay. I mean, it's like a mint green. It's just absolutely beautiful. We'll show you the maker's mark. I'm going to show you the back. Um, there's a tiny, tiny little chip. I don't even know if you can see it, but I'm going to note it anyways, right where my finger is. Here, and actually, I just felt it. Nothing big. This is number 82, and it's $8. And then my last item for today is this little frozen Charlotte or Penny doll. She is made in Japan. She's got the movable arms. There, she's got Japan written on there. There's the bottom. And her arms move. And she is $8. And she measures four inches tall. And that's all I have for you today. Um, any questions, please send me an email. Um, any comments, leave them down below. Um, and thank you all so much for taking the time out to watch my video.
Bye.